morning. Hello, everyone. Happy Sunday. Good morning. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I'm excited to show you guys the bundle I'll be using today, which is the Heartfelt Bundle. I am absolutely in love with this bundle because I'm a sucker for punches. You guys, look. Two punches in this bundle. We have a heart punch that's scalloped, and then we have a regular heart punch that's not, and so they, they layer. Um, and this suite of products is so awesome. The designer series paper, gorgeous. But the embellishments, too. This beautiful double-stitched real red ribbon. It's fabulous, you guys. And then the doilies, the heart doilies. So there's pink, flirty flamingo, and real red. And then on the back side, there's white. So you get three colors of um, the doilies. I love these guys. And I, I, yeah, I used a doily in every single one of our projects today. The stamp set is really fun. I'm using it in the Color Your World Technique class on Tuesday. We're going to be doing some scratch and sniff valentines. So this is a really fun set. It's got some really cool things in it. We're going to be using that. And the paper, the papers to die for. It's got so it's specialty paper because it has some like shiny elements to it. Um, for example, um, these two sheets here, like the hearts, they're shiny, and when you put you can punch them out with the punch. And then this piece here is shiny, so it's really cool. And the patterns are just gorgeous. And it's a red, it's real red and flirty flamingo are the colors. So I'm going to be using this paper today. Okay, time to go play with the new bundle. Here we go. Not too bad, not too shabby. Okay, so here are the projects for today. I have a very simple yet beautiful Valentine's Day card using the pretty doilies, some of those new faceted gems, and this beautiful designer series paper. So there's this one. This is a fun one. This one is a, I've always wanted to make one of these triangle boxes and I used um, Paper Pixies um, design, but I made it longer because inside for me, I have Valentine's Day pencils, but this would also be perfect to fit some Hershey Kisses. Look how perfect that would be for some Hershey Kisses. So. I'm gonna show you how to make these. And it's um, one of those boxes that like folds and you can reclose. You don't have, to, they're not sealed, but nothing's coming out. So there's that one. And then this one, this one's super fun, guys. These chocolates I found at Walmart and I love that they had letters on them so you can spell words. So I knew I wanted to do this. It has a little pocket where I have a little tag. You can put your little Valentine's Day message. The top opens and the candies come out. So this is a really fun um, project. I found this um, on Pinterest. Split Coast Stampers had a tutorial. It did not fit my Dove chocolates, so I had to resize it to fit the Dove chocolates. I found these at Walmart. So um, I have the measurements for this. Every All the measurements for these can be found on my project sheet on my blog post. So if you go into my blog post, there's a link to my project sheet. Click on that. It has all the measurements and supplies I use to make these cards. And um, so you don't have to write anything down. All right, let's go ahead and do our last project. This is our most complex project, but it's such a stunner, so pretty. Now I found um, I found this project on Pinterest, and like I mentioned, it was using um, Hershey Nuggets, so it was a different size. Well, I found these Dove Love Notes, and so they're basically these Dove chocolates that have all different letters. And it literally took two bo two bags to find um, two Vs. So in order to do the word love, there was, um, I was trying to figure out what else I could spell with these letters. And I thought about XOXO, right? Hugs and kisses. Um, there is a K in here. Um, there's some Xs, some Ts, I'm not quite sure. There weren't very many V's. Like I said, I had I found two V's in both, like in one bag. I couldn't find any V's in the other bag, but there's lots of different letters. Um, like here's a K and an I, so maybe you could do S if you got enough S's. So it's kind of hit or miss. <laughs> you might have to buy a couple bags. Um, but yeah, like I said, I, I couldn't. Oh, here's another S. So you could do kiss. I don't know what the T would be. 
I don't know, talk, talk to you later. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, you could play with these and have fun with them. But I thought they were really cool. So I changed up the box size to fit these little Dove chocolates instead of the nuggets. So here's what we need for this project. And I did go ahead and score it ahead of time just because I was afraid of scoring live and doing it wrong. So start out with a piece of cardstock that's nine and three quarters by six and three quarters. And on the short side, so on the six and three quarter side, I scored at half an inch and one inch and five and three quarter inches and six and a quarter inches. So basically at half inch marks on both sides. Okay, so I did that. And then on the long side, I scored at three inches, seven and a quarter, seven and three quarters, nine inches, and nine and a half. Okay, that's why. See, this is why I didn't do it live. I was like, no, no, no. Now, if you buy my, um, if you place an order with me and get my make and takes, this all comes scored for you. So all you have to do is burnish the score lines and cut it, and you're all set. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, so they're all burnished. Now to cut, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our scissors, and in this corner here, we're gonna cut out all four of these little squares here. We're gonna cut them all out. And then we're going to leave these two kind of rectangle pieces and we're going to cut up to that second score line. And then this whole tab here is going to cut off. So we're going to cut this whole thing. So it's pretty easy. You lose all this part and you just leave it left with this little tab. And you want to kind of miter. This will make it easier when you are putting, putting your tabs together. And this is going to be that little... This is gonna be that little place right here where the chocolates live, okay? Now on the top, same thing. Exact same thing as the bottom. So we're gonna cut out these four squares here. Miter that edge there. Cut down to that second score line and then just cut the rest of this off. Okay, so there we've got this going. Now, before I go ahead and cut out this little section here, I want to go ahead and mark and cut this out. So basically what I did was I took my ruler and I went, I lined it up here on the edge and I marked it at two inches because that's where I'm going to do the cut is right at two inches. And I'm gonna cut from there to here, to that score line so that I have a diagonal pocket Okay, so you can take your trimmer, super simple. Just put, put your um, project here in the trimmer. And then you're going to take, line it up at that mark. And I can see my video is still going blurry a little bit and I apologize. I think my internet's acting funny today. Um, and that may have been why I couldn't get Switcher Studio to work today. I don't know, I just kinda gotta go with the flow. All right, so to do my windy window, I actually used this label that's in the Merry Christmas Thinlet dies. I am sure that there are all kinds of labels that will work. I bet even those rectangle stitched labels would work. This is the first thing that I found, and so this is what I'm using. But there are all kinds of different um, dies out there that you can use to cut this. Now, to cut my window, I had to cut this twice. I have my little shim in here. I have this, you guys might wonder what that paper is. It's my little shim. Um, okay, so I just put this, and of course it's magnetic, so it slides around sometimes. And I had to kind of fold one flap in while I was cutting because it's too long for the big shot. So you line it up there and run it through. Okay, and then we have to move it down. So now we're gonna move it down. I don't know if you guys can see. Move it down here. 
and cut it again. And you don't want it too far down. And I have to tuck this side in. Okay, there we go. So now we have this window. Again, this part would be done for you if you got the make and takes from me. I would be cutting that window for you. I do as much of the work as possible for you ahead of time so that you have easy assembly. Um, and everything that I can cut out for you, I do. Unless it has to be stamped first, then I can't cut it out. All right. So now there's this really tiny quarter inch um, score line at the end. And I'm going to put tear and tape on it. And we're going to build this little window box okay so this is a little bit tricky because it's such a small little tab but what I found is I like to glue things down flat so what you could do is lay it down flat like so and then when it pops open it's a perfectly squared box okay now, for the bottom flap, we're just going to put some glue because we don't want the bottom to come out. So we're just going to put some glue on the tab. Oh, this is my bad one. This one's... I'm going to use my newer one. And we're just going to glue that tab inside. So just tuck that tab in and glue it down. And what I'm going to do is just take my bone folder Put it in there and push it down so that it so that it sticks. I'm gonna just use my fingers because there's a window. All right, so let's go ahead and put our chocolates in. We're gonna spell the word love. So we've got E and then V O and L. Look how perfectly that fits. And then this top one, we're just gonna push in because we want them to be able to open it later. Now you could glue it closed if you were worried about it coming out, but I wanted it to be easy access to the chocolate. Easy access to the chocolate. Okay, now for this side here, this flap, what we're gonna do is a thin, thin line of glue along the bottom and along the side, okay? I'm going to just lay that down. It's okay, Elizabeth. There's always the replay. You have not missed. I promise. It's all good. We're doing our last project, but that is okay. Today's projects were simple, so it kind of went by quick, didn't it? All right, so there's our little pocket. I love you too, Janie. <laughs> you, you feel bad for my, my voice? Okay. So for this diagonal pocket, I want to decorate the outside. So I have two pieces here. The Whisper White, it, this measures, um, let's see if I can remember, two and, th let's see, four and five eighths by two and seven eighths. No? Yeah, two and seven eighths. Okay, so what I did was I measured, I marked up to the, instead of a two inch mark, I marked up to one and seven eighths on the left side. So one and seven eighths. We're gonna cut from that point there. And then this one I marked at one and a quarter. I mean one and three quarters. And so we'll cut from there up. So let's get the trimmer. And I do cut upside down, you guys, so I'm, I apologize. But So I'm gonna line up my mark and the opposite top corner there like so to make that angle again all these measurements are on that blog post so don't stress um, if you didn't write it down or if I said it wrong it's all right on the post okay so there it's going to fit perfectly let's go ahead and put glue on the back thank you Kathleen that's very sweet of you to say. 
I make everything look easy? It is easy. It's just paper. It's just paper. All right, I'm going to erase this little mark I made because I can see it. Okay. And then we're going to glue this little piece onto our paper. Now I'm using liquid glue because there's this little narrow fine point at the top and I want to get glue all the way in. So there we go. All right, so now we've got that. Now let's go ahead and do our little heart. So what I did here was I have, I took a flirty flamingo, but I turned it around. I want a white heart because I felt like red on red was too much and the pink didn't really go with this one. So I wanted white. So my, my doily, I'm gonna turn around and use the white side. But then I also punched out my scallop from the DSP. So we have this beautiful DSP we're gonna cut punch out with the punch and then I can take the stamp and stamp it in real red right into the center of my little heart that I punched so this is says from my heart to yours okay so just fit that right in the center boom perfect I'm gonna glue that down to my doily. Right in the center of my doily. And then I'm gonna put dimensionals on the back of my doily. So I'll get my dimensionals here. I just love these doilies, you guys. They're so fun. Okay, so then we're gonna just center this and put it right in the middle. I love the shine. I love the shiny on the um, candies, it goes to the shiny on the paper, so cute. And then I cut a piece, this is my tag. So this is a two inch by four and a half inch piece of Whisper White. And I used my Scallops Tag Topper Punch and punch that out. So this is gonna be my little note tag that goes inside. I actually want it to be shorter, so I'm gonna cut this down to four inches, I think. There we go. Because I want it to go down far enough that, yeah, like that. So I cut it down to four inches. And then I have this little heart. This heart is from the stamp set. And we are going to stamp in real red on the little tag so I just did a couple in the corner and then you could write a little love message okay little hearts and then I took the ribbon because our little tag means ribbon and all right, I don't know if I gave myself enough ribbon to do this, but what I wanted to do is a double knot here. Maybe. <clears throat> I didn't give myself very much ribbon to work with. Okay, there we go. So now you have your little knot, and you have your little ends come up here at the top. How cute is that? Oh my gosh. I love these little Valentines, you guys. That was so simple, right? Look how fun you have. Like, the f they're just so fun to play with. I love all of the embellishments that come in this suite. And I love all of the punches and the beautiful paper. You guys will fall in love with this suite. Now, make sure that you place an order with me this week so you can get my make and takes and you can get my free gift and you can get some celebration items. Or if you just want to get all the most bang for your buck, buy the starter kit from me. Come join my team. All right, you guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for bearing with my froggy voice and my coughing attack. And uh, you guys have a fabulous week, okay? Bye-bye.